Hello guys, welcome back to part 36 of Double Homework, episode 6. I'm as good as okay, let's go. I'm not going to let something as silly as this get in the way of my graduation. Moreover, Johanna worked so hard on this. I saw it myself, I can't let her work go to waste, so I'm gonna get everyone. I suppose I have to see Dennis eventually, but he's going to be last. Now who first? Ah oh, well, there's a lot to choose, let's do Emmy Aiden now. Alright. I do have a lot of information about where Emmy lives. I have her number, but she isn't picking up. How do I get in contact? Ah, oh, wait a second, I have an idea. I just have to open the browser, then... Emmy playing a game for an audience. I knew she had to be streaming. The chat logs are burning out with commenters, vying for Emmy's attention. It's going to be hard to say something that will draw her attention. Will I have to give her money? Ah! Uh. This is so frustrating. You guys are really trying to torture me, aren't you? Next time it's my choice, okay? I'm picking an easier game. Oh, there we go, finally. I tried typing a few messages, no use. They quickly sync. Looks like I'll have to do super chat thing. I type in, I'm Miski, please come to school, it's important. What? Oh, you liar. You totally, you didn't have a Twitch account. Sorry guys, I know Miski, it's a, uh, um... Girl from school. Girl from school? Oh, she doesn't want her audience to be jealous. Miski is a strange name for a girl. Miski, is that that important? Do you have to send her another $5? Fine. Yes, our teacher promises to be different. Fine. Okay, guys, I did say this was an off scheduled stream, didn't I? Looks like I'm being summoned. Make sure to follow or subscribe if you feel like it. Bye, guys. Miski, I'll be there in 15 minutes. By the way, if you also <laughs> if you'd also like to subscribe to my main channel, Miski to K, this one where I'm publishing this game, that will be more than appreciated. That's it then. Alright, so let's just proceed following the order because I don't think it will make any change. Particular um, you know, it won't um, engrave into the story that much. This has to be Lauren's story. So, oh my god, Lauren's hot. <laughs> Sorry. Seems like a nice place, but not quite as nice as I was expecting for a classy girl like Lauren. I hope she doesn't misinterpret my visit. Alright, then go ahead. Oh, Miski, what a surprise! Hi, actually. Oh, why don't you come in? Nobody's home except me. The thing is... Oh, nonsense, I'm taking no for an answer. Looks like I'm going in. Nice place you have here. Thanks, and you know I picked out the furniture, right? My parents gave me a catalog and a license to remodel the living room. Lauren's going to be it far. I'm pretty sure I saw most of this stuff in Ikea are not exactly posh. But it's true, it does look nice. Did you want a drink? My dad leaves his liquor cabinet unlocked. No, I don't have the time. Actually, I needed to come to school. Don't worry, you made your feelings quite clear last time. I'm just doing this to be your friend. I'm serious, Lauren. Miss Walsh has promised to actually teach us, but it's nothing for it if we don't all show up. She did. Forget it, I'm not showing up to the dump. I'm going to choke that bitch if she see Miss Walsh again. Sometimes Lauren sounds a little like Morgan. I understand your frustration, but we have to show up, otherwise none of us are graduating. Staying behind here in school? I know, I don't want it either. Okay, fine, I'll show up. Thank you. Let me get dressed. I'll meet you there. Fantastic. That's Lauren down. Morgan. Okay, downloading assets. Mm -hmm. Morgan lives here. Looks like an ally. Her door looks kind of iffy too. I would never go to a place if I didn't have business here. This is what Miss Walsh had on her piece of paper. I knock on the door. Waiting, 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 waiting. Yikes! That's not a dog, that's a monster. My door is shaking with each bark. I feel like there's something that wants to murder me on the other side. I step back for a second, then I hear curses, several words of admonishment. Then the door opens. It's you. Come in. Thanks. 
She's taking all this pretty well. Oh well, that's a slum actually. <laughs> but I love the portrait on the wall. It's cute. It's actually not a portrait. It's just a you know a fresco. I I don't see it pretty well, but never mind. Sorry, Borges doesn't like people. He was formerly from a K9 unit. Oh, not an issue. It's a really nice place you have here. Your line. But it's not my place. It's my uncle's. Oh, so where do you live? I slip here, if that's what you're asking. Hard to call this dump a home. My uncle wouldn't have kids if I wasn't thrown at him. So, you finally gave up on school, huh? About time. Do you want some say, sake? No thanks, actually I'm here to drag everyone to school. Ah? Uh, everyone. Yeah, Joanna and I were the only ones to show up. Not that much of a surprise. Now that I think of it. So, why should I go back? I'm going to flunk out anyway. Might as well use my time like I want to. Because this is different. Miss Walsh has promised she's really going to teach us. You say that, but it kinda looks like she went sent you out there to do her work. But it's only because she's doing something that she has to do, for real this time. Fuck. She stares at me, as though wondering what to do. If you drag me to school and nothing's going on, I'm going to fuck you up myself. You understand? I don't care that you're an Olympian. Oh, you can fuck me up, sure. I need to get out of here before my uncle comes home anyway. See you at school, nerd. Not if I see you first. Morgan seems to like that and walks right out of the front door. Does she realize she left me alone in her house? Or does she not care? Shit, I should probably get out of here before she, her uncle comes home. If he can't handle a monster like that dog, it's time to go to Rachel. It will be, as always, of course, downloading assets, but never mind. Right? It's a bit of a long shot, but this was probably the best place to find Rachel. I met her here the other day. If I wait, and wait a little longer... <gasps> you really keep up to a schedule, don't you? Miski, what the fuck? Are you stalking me? It's a little late to try and court me like this. Well, this is usually the time you exercise at school. I know how you hate missing days of training. That's true. The thing I really hate is that you know me so well. I've come to tell you, we should go back to school. Miss Walsh has promised to teach us properly if we go back. I, I was planning on going to school. I just thought it probably wouldn't hurt to show up late, squeeze some training in instead. I sympathize. You get an icky feeling when you go off schedule. Yeah, you know it. Anyway, nobody showed up to school, so... I'm trying to convince everyone to show up today. Nobody showed up? That's insane! But not that surprising, considering we haven't been doing anything. Yes, well, I was just making sure you were coming. I was planning on going anyway, after my shower, so I didn't really need any of your reminders. But it's the thoughts that counts, right? Right. I'll take a shower. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Great. Well, it looks so dark in here. It looks like evening. <laughs> oh my god. But should be everyone. Time to head back. Hey, you are missing the, the nerd. You should go and, and call him too. That's unfair. Come on. That should be everyone. Except Dennis. Fuck, I don't want to talk to that douchebag, but I know I should. I don't have to visit him, I just have to call him. Tell him he should show up. Of course, I could just not say anything. I mean, I don't really care if Danny graduates in time or not. Regardless, I have to make a decision. Oh, damn. Why do I have always to do such decisions? Like, I don't know actually what will, you know, change my future. Like, be extremely different. I don't know. Don't call him. Call him. What the fuck? I don't know. Call him. Fine, I just hold my nose and do it. I don't know, guys. I don't really know. <clears throat> I might as well, um, you know, oh my god, how is it? Load the, the data later in time and then do it again. I don't know, guys. Excuse me, this is Dennis. I'm not here right now. I'm working on my death ray, Moonbase, or Giant Mech. 
Be obedient and say something after the beep like a boot little sheeple. I'm not leaving a message. What kind of a man makes his voicemail message so aggravating? In any case, I've done my due diligence. I wonder how many people will actually show up. Seems unlikely that even half will. I mean, what exactly did I say to them that will really make them believe Miss Walsh was going to do her job? I have no idea. Maybe everyone trusts you. And then they all showed up, I don't know. Let's see. Well, Amy showed up. Well, you sent her ten dollars, I mean, what the fuck? Well, she has a crush on you, and she might as well have a crush on you, but secretly. Well, of course, this is a um, hate and love relationship, so she couldn't, you know, miss it. If it was you saying her, maybe if it was Johanna, she wouldn't just bother to show up, but now, I mean, it's you. Wow, not only are they all here, they're all here before me, and I guess things can't be perfect. Great work, Miski. I wasn't expecting anyone to show up. I promise everyone I'm going to do my best from now on. We'd all like that. All of us just want a normal class. We all want to graduate on time. This is your last shot, Miss Wosh. You'd better teach us. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to learn something. Anything. I'm not sure I could have done things without you, Miski. Oh, you're thanking the wrong person. It's Johanna you should be thanking. She pulled long nights getting that lesson plan together. Oh, please, don't be like that. You're embarrassing me. I'm serious. She's incredible. Wait, we're using Johanna's lesson plan. Isn't the teacher supposed to do shit like that? Yeah, are we really going to get a quality education? I mean, we all appreciate the effort you put in. Johanna isn't a professional. It looks like a class is doubtful. I ought to stick up for Johanna, but what should I say? Uh, right? No! Excuse me! I, I was about to say something. Yes, about how hard-working Joanna is, and now she'd make a natural teacher. Oh, sweetheart, laboring thoughtless of her stuff. It's not like you in grades understand. You have no better choice. Yeah, well, I was about to say that they have no better choice, but... All right, dumb bag. So, I'm gonna close the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video.